The last reason for my financial hardship is me. All right, I'll, I'll be perfectly honest and own up to the fact that I am partly responsible because I adamantly refuse to see people as a dollar sign and not a human being, right? And let me explain this. In economics, you have macro and micro. Macroeconomics, the focus is the big pictures, the, often it's the business, and their preference is called profit maximization. They want to make as much money as they can, as often as they can, from their customer. Okay? Now, in microeconomics, we have the individual, the customer, if you will, and their preference is utility maximization, which is derived by spending the least amount of money on a good and service as few times as possible. So you have two preferences, one for the business and one for the customer, that are completely opposite. Okay, so essentially what's good for the business is bad for the customer, right, and vice versa. Now even if the business comes out and says, hey, we're doing this because it's good for you, they're totally correct, but it's always good for them as well. And in some cases, it's actually detrimental to the customer, but the customer doesn't know it because the only information they're getting is from the very people who are profiting off of them knowing that information. Right? Business never really tells or does anything that will paint what they're selling in a negative light. Okay, because that goes against marketing and profit maximization, right? They're trying to make as much money as they can, as often as they can, from their customer. And the customer wants to spend as little money as possible, as few times as possible. So it's the total opposite. Now, how this relates to the martial arts industry is that the product, the good and service, that it's given is teaching martial arts, right? So what's good for the martial arts school is not actually good for the martial arts student, right? There are a lot of very common, very, very common teaching practices that are not actually the best for the person who is learning, okay? Things that literally don't do anything to teach someone how to do a martial art technique better. It's all about making money. And these practices I know all about. In fact, you can actually run a financially successful martial art business without actually knowing martial arts. Okay? It's that bad. And the thing is, I know all of this stuff that I have chosen not to do that. I've chosen to try to make things efficient. I've tried to give people something better than what I originally had to go through because I've been there. All right, I've, I've, dude, I've got two first degree black belts, one second degree and one sixth degree. I've been there, done that. You know, I have been in this game for a while, and I know teaching because I've taught over ten thousand eight hundred hours at this point. And I can definitely tell you that there are a lot of things that you do teaching that are not actually business things and that don't make the business a whole lot of money, but there are things that you can totally do that can make the business a lot of money, but it won't actually do anything to make the student any better, right? And so I've just chosen not to do those things. And a lot of the people who I teach, who have previous experience, who are in who have been to other martial arts schools, they recognize that, they see that, they like that. My problem is that the general public that I want to advertise, that I want to bring into my school, they look at it and they see something that is completely different from all the other martial arts schools out there, right? And they're like, well, that's weird. Thumbs up with them. I'm gonna go with these guys. That looks like what I see on TV and movies and stuff like that. They, they teach the way everyone teaches, um, they don't realize that it's not the best. I mean, we're talking about it, a matter of context has shifted.
prior to World War II, it was like focusing on actually learning how to fight. And then afterwards, it was like, oh, we gotta we gotta pay bills with this thing, so we're gonna shift things around so that we can make as much money as we possibly can. And the customers aren't gonna know any different because they're ignorant of all things martial arts. And so you literally come to a martial arts school to learn about that, so you don't know any better. You're not like, how could you possibly do? Um, one of the things that I want to do with my YouTube channel is make a whole series of videos that outline all these things to better educate people, okay? Because you cannot defend yourself accurately against something if you don't know what that something is, right? So I'm trying to help educate people so that they don't get taken advantage of by an industry that in some cases, most cases actually, takes advantage of their students, of their ignorance, because that's how business operates. Every business takes advantage of the ignorance of their customers to make money. All right, that's just a big thing, and I actively have chosen not to do that because I like people, okay? And I don't want to do that to people. I didn't like it when it was done to me, so I'm not going to do it to them, right? I have that chance. Now, some people, Totally don't, don't even realize that they're doing that, and that's fine, right? They're just ignorant. They don't know any better because in business, they have a thing called delegation, which is huge. This management is like, if you have employees, it's like, oh, you make them do all of the work for you. You just kind of come up with policies. Like, the further away you can distance yourself from your customer, the better. That, that's why you have lots of employees, that's why you have like automated stuff, that's why you have computerized things, because empathy is the enemy of profit. And businesses are trying to maximize as much profit as they can, so they're going to go in the way that people are like are going to be removed from each other, right? So you don't see the financial hardships that you might be incurring, right? Like I said, all in me, I, I, I will gladly own up that because I can sleep pretty well at night knowing that I'm, you know, not doing people dirty. It's very difficult to run a business and still be a nice person if you know that. If you know that what you're doing is not helping them, is just taking money from them because you just want to pay rent. I want to try to get that across to people. I want to try to make a business that is profitable in the sense that it's not taking advantage of people's ignorance, which it can totally be that. I've seen other businesses in other contexts and other places where they go way out of their way to educate their customers and not actually take money from them, but give a good service to them. It's incredibly difficult in this industry, though, because of so much like ego and insecurity and just testosterone and cognitive dissonance, right? We have people who their whole identity is wrapped up in something so they refuse knowledge of anything to the contrary because that's actually a mental uh, defense mechanism for them. Not accept anything that would con be contrary to what they believe themselves to be. Um, so I get it, right? But I don't want to be part of it. And so that's one of the reasons why I'm here is because I never actually took advantage of the people that I, I teach. I want to teach them. I like my people, all right? They're good people. You guys good people. And I got plenty of good people who hopefully will watch this and, and donate, help me out so I can keep trying to give a good service to people and help them out, right? Um, so help me out so I can help others out.